It's Sunday morning. We're live here. Win Daily Sports. Tony Adam. It's the five and five, which I think we're going to start turning to the seven on seven because we've added home run props into this mix, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, yesterday, Adam, we go three for four. Technically, we were a hundred percent, and because we completely combined on air with Machado and we decided, you know what? You threw a bonus in there with Jesse Winker. So listen, we went three for four, not easy to do, but we're continuing to be above that 50% level. So make sure you're giving us a follow at window sports and watch that home run model that we post on the site that ghost does a ton of work behind the scenes with, and it seems to be hitting every single day, but Adam, it's Sunday. It's a weird day, right? You just never know who's going to play. It's early. So we're going to give you our, best estimate of who we think should be in this lineup and who we can get behind so right off the bat off your 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 hot your listen adam you're hot from yesterday uh so <laughs> l- let's look at ace of the slate for today it's kind of a tough pitching slate right because like okay yes you have um you know some really good pitchers on the mound but a lot of these guys are in some tougher matchups um you know for me i think probably the most popular guy and it's kind of hard to argue it's probably gonna be christian javier against the a's at home i think some people may kind of shy away from zach wheeler but like you know you look at the series it's been super low scoring because the quality of pitcher has been so good through the series i still like wheeler i mean the mets offense is good they're, they're not so good that they're just invincible and a good pitcher can do a lot of work against them. He's under 10K, which Zach Wheeler really shouldn't be. So I don't know where he's going to come in ownership-wise, but I, I kind of still think it's Wheeler. I, I think he still has a really good start here. Yeah, I like that call. And the reason why is, you know, obviously from watching this game in depth, it's been a fantastic series uh, with the Mets and the Phils. And one of these teams that are going to break out with the bats, and it, it's going to be one or the other. This isn't going to be a one nothing game again. Somebody's going to break out. And for my money, even though I like Chris Bassett and he's been really good, uh, and it's not Philly bias, I just think Philly's had the bats today to break out and get behind Wheeler to give him the run support to get the win. So I do like that. Now, what about on the other end? We always talk about yesterday it was Giolito you threw out there. 7,500 gets you 21 DK. So is there another pitcher out there we could pair up? What we were to get us that same kind of production. Yeah, I mean, he's been really difficult to get correct this year. Um, we're kind of hoping the matchup just comes through, but Lance Lynn's only 6,800. And, you know, listen, the surface metrics look terrible. Like his ERA is flirting with six. He has a 356 X fit. His home run to fly ball rate is just completely out of whack. His strain rate is barely over 60%. His you know, The career mark is 75%. Yeah, Detroit has lefties, and that's kind of always been a bugaboo for Lynn, especially these later years in his career. But at the same time, these are not really quality lefties we're talking about. I, I mean, it's the Detroit lefties. There's a reason this lineup's one of the worst in baseball. And we saw yesterday, even though Giolito did end up giving up four runs, he gave up a three-run home run early, he still worked his way back, and the strikeouts were still there that, you know, I don't expect Lance Lynn to, to go six innings and not give up a run. He doesn't have to. As long as he can strike out six, seven guys, even if he gives up a run or two at 6,800, you're going to be perfectly fine whether you get the win or not. It's all about the salary. And 6,800, even for where Lance Lynn has, has kind of produced this year, it's too low against the Tigers. Yeah. Listen, I mean, look at his numbers at 6,800 produces 17, 72 to 73. He's produced an average of 25 to 27 deep at this guy. Like you said, even though he's giving up long balls, he's giving up hits, he's going deep in the games. I mean, 90, 89, 97, 87. These are high pitch counts and high seven Ks per nine. So like, like we said yesterday, look at those numbers. It'll help you out. Now, what about the bats, the stacks? Who are we going to ride today behind the plate? I mean, the Atlanta Braves have to jump out. Pretty much any time they face a lefty, they're they're automatically uh, very interesting. Um, you know, when you look at Braxton Garrett, he's had some pretty good starts, but they've tended to come against the weaker matchups. I mean, okay, so he he kicked the Pirates rear ends for two starts. Congratulations. A lot, a lot of pitchers can do that. Um, even with the Atlanta offense, I would have to bet probably don't have Ronald Acuna. He left the game last night with like discomfort, and they played two games yesterday, so... I would bet Ronald Acuna doesn't play in this game. Listen, that's fine. I mean, you still have Austin Riley, who that's going to be my first home run prop of the day. Austin Riley has just destroyed lefties the entire year. I mean, he's really destroyed any pitcher put in front of him, but especially the left side of the the mound. Um, You have Dansby Swanson. You still have a guy, Vaughn Grisham, still sitting there, flat 2K minimum. You know, he's going to make the lineup, I would have to assume. Another 19 DK last night. Like, it's just ridiculous. I don't know what the guy, I understand it's a short track record, but, can we, can we not make him the minimum at least? Like, this is getting too easy. 
It's so funny because yesterday we were both in Omachada. Right. And we were both in. I had Taylor Ward. You had Otani. We were in on the Angels game. And you talk about home run props. I'm in on the Atlanta game, too. But I'm going a little different. I, You know, I thought, listen, I was all with the Riley factor. I was thinking that. And I was like, you know what? I have a feeling Adam's going to go that route. So let, let's let change it up. So maybe we can get two in the same game. Right. Sundays are different. You mentioned about Acuna. I'm looking at the lineup. Guys could go flip around the lineup. I'm going to go. I know it's lefty against lefty here, but I'm going to go with Michael Harris. And again, I just I, I, I like this kid. I really do. I, I like the way that he could get thrown into pressure situations and he can still produce on, in a big time environment on a team that's winning ball games and in a pennant race. I do like that. So, again, I looked at the Garrett connection. I looked at him giving up a lot of home runs. I given a lot of good barrel on ball hits. So. I'm going to go Michael Harris. You're going to go Austin Ryan. Let's see if we can go two for two for home run props in Atlanta. Now, what about sneaky stacks? Yesterday, talked about Houston, talked about San Francisco. Still had, you know, Houston blew up. San Francisco had guys that blew up. Uh, what are we thinking about a team that may be less chalky that nobody else is, not nobody else, but low percentage levels that we could throw in there and get some points? So I'm kind of wondering what, what the field does here because, like, I think Chicago Cubs will be chalky, but look at their prices, man. They are not cheap. <laughs> I mean, you got some of these nope. guys that are that are Austin Riley level, and they're a little bit tougher to swallow. So I kind of wonder how that plays out. But I think at least one guy is going to be popular, even if you don't full stack. Framo Reyes is still only twenty eight hundred. It's a great FVVP play. Um, his past ten, he's hitting two seventy. Okay, he he still he struck out eight times in those ten games. Uh, the OPS is under 700. Like, the power is not there. But Framo Reyes making any sort of contact is an improvement on this season for him. So the fact he, he's at least hitting the ball is a big step in the right direction. And then you get Justin Dunn on the mound, who, I mean, is just not a good pitcher whatsoever. Really doesn't have a ton of strikeout ability. Listen, if you're not going to miss Framo Reyes' bat, he's still got that power, man. He can leave the yard. Uh, guys like Ian Happ. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in that $5,000 range a lot with this team, but they do offer quite a few other people. Uh, you know, even Morrell's like 5100 They have options here that, you know, you don't need to spend an arm and a leg and you can still get a part of this great matchup in Cincinnati. Yeah, it's it's great points. It really is. And it's a way, like you just said, you mentioned some low-value guys, some FFVPs, and we have to look at that. And that's why, again, this team isn't going to be popular because they are inconsistent. But I'm going to ride a sneaky stack of the Milwaukee Brewers today. Uh, you know, I'm going to stack McCullis. And, and here's the thing. McCullis gives up a lot of hits. And even though this team's not throwing out a ton of dingers, they are getting on base and they have some guys like you just mentioned in your play, the same as me, like guys like Colt Wong, Urias at 3,700. And my FFVP is going to be Tyrone Taylor. Uh, I, I, again, this is, this is another kid that's, that's good positive point production. He's almost been with that FFVP cash line, but he's showing that he can get behind the plate and do some damage. So I do like the Milwaukee Brewers today. And that's going to be my second home run prop because McCullough's is three home runs in three starts, four home runs, or three home runs and three starts against Milwaukee, four home runs in his last five. So I'm going to go with the little guy. I'm going to go Rowdy Telez uh, to go yard today in St. Louis Stadium. Now, Adam, we talked about some bats. We talked about value. Any final thoughts? I know you have another home run prop besides that or any kind of value left on the slate. Yeah, my uh, my other home run prop is actually going to come from the Cubs, and it's going to be Ian Happ. Um, you know, Justin Dunn across the career has been way worse to lefties. Like I said, you're in Cincinnati. That park is extremely small, especially once you get into August and, uh, you know, the, the hot weather. Um, so I do like that. And then my sneaky stack is actually in your same game, too. Uh, we were definitely on the same page this morning. Aaron Ashby is really, really talented, but he has also really struggled through a lot of his innings as a starter. He can typically get to the lineup once and then, you know, it kind of goes south for him. The St. Louis Cardinals are one of the toughest teams in this league against lefty pitching. Arenado, Goldschmidt, uh, Paul DeYoung has been hitting at least a little bit better since coming back up. Um, Tyler O'Neill, all these guys have a lot of potential in this spot. Even if they, you know, they kind of get cruised through that first time through the, through the order, don't get too discouraged because Ashby, when it goes bad for him, it tends to go bad in a hurry. You know, we talked about St. Louis is a great place on a Sunday to hit bombs i'm telling you and to be able to hit the ball and again 
like you mentioned, man, even guys like Dylan Carlson, who, who's one of my favorites, um, he always seems to be a very good, valuable bat. So make sure you're checking out that sneaky stack as well. Make sure you're checking out all the information here on Wendell Sports at Wendell Sports right now. Give it a free month away. As always, get ready for NFL season. We got the home run props. We got the golf guys. We got racing. We had so much stuff coming up. And man, baseball was still rearing its ugly head in mid-August. So as always, like we say for Tony, for Adam, make sure everybody enjoy this glorious day no disrespect to bobby rude uh but as always stay healthy stay profitable and we'll catch you next time